Hey everybody, today I have kind of a smallish, you know, cute little haul that I got from Sephora and I'll admit I haven't been shopping at Sephora that much lately because as you can tell from my hauls, I've been spending a lot of time at TJ Maxx and Marshalls where I can get the same makeup for about a third the cost. So, but I still do like Sephora. I like going there, I like seeing what's new. Um, there are, you know, brands that um, are specific or exclusive to Sephora and I wish I could afford those, but I love... So I think it was maybe last weekend, um, the Sephora's in the JCPenney stores had um, an additional 40% off the sales stuff. So a lot of, so a lot of the discontinued stuff was marked down like 50% and then it was another 40% off of that. So ultimately it came out to like 70% off. So um, by this time I found out about it, it uh, a lot of stuff had sold out, but luckily I went to one store um, and I wasn't even planning on finding anything there, but I did check out one store. Again, these were just the Sephora stores in the JCPenney's, so not the standalone Sephora's as far as I know. But uh, I went to one store, um, I went to the sales section, it was pretty much pillaged and picked over, but um, I was, I went specifically to see if they had any, uh, you know, Marc Jacobs stuff left over. So I just happened to go over to the Marc Jacobs section and I checked in the drawers and I did find some of the sales stuff still in there. So I don't know if maybe the salespeople didn't know that stuff was on sale or maybe they were saving it for someone, but luckily I got to it. And um, so I did get a few things that were uh, like 70% off. So I will share that with you now. Um, so here's my bag. And again, it was just, all I got was um, some Marc Jacobs things. They had like some Kat Von D stuff, some Urban Decay, um, uh, what other brands, and, you know, uh, Thomas Lee Roth stuff, or Peter Thomas Roth stuff. <laughs> Peter Thomas Roth stuff was on sale, like, um, and his stuff I think was up to 75% off. So, um, but like I said, I, I was also looking at the Kat Von D stuff, but they really didn't have anything left by the time I got there. So I did get some Marc Jacobs nail polishes because I'm all about the nail polish. I'm actually wearing Patsy right now. This is a Marc Jacobs color. Love it. It's kind of like this mirrored silver. And I got um, a couple other things I'll show you. So these are the nail polishes I got. And as you can see, they're not from TJ Maxx for Marshalls. These are from Sephora. And so again, these are regularly $18. And then like with all the discounts, they came out to $5.40. So I'm glad that I picked that up. And I found colors that I wasn't able to find, you know, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I got this color. It's called Secret Love. It's this dark purple color. I don't know if you can tell in this light. Also my background's dark purple. But basically it's this dark purple color that so pretty. I can't wait to start wearing this. I will probably, this will probably be the next color I wear after this one. And then I got a uh, blacker. It's like lacquer, but blacker. And it's just a basic black nail polish. Again, you probably can't really see, but very nice. Um, and I'll probably mix this with like white nail polish. So I'll have like black and white. There's all kinds of things you could do with black nail polish. You know, if you're not one of those, you know, goth people that just want completely black nails, you can use this as an accent with other colors. So like pink and black is a nice color too. Um, and then I also got Lola, which I'm really glad I found this because I haven't been able to find any of the reds from Marc Jacobs. And it's this like sort of poppy, you know, orangey red color. It's very bright. Very spring, can't wait to wear this. So glad I found this. I just, when I saw this in the drawer, I just snagged it. And I'm so glad I found that. Um, Cause again, it's not a color I saw at the TJ Maxx's and Marshalls. And then the last color I got is called Sally. And it is like this sort of blue green shimmery color. Very pretty, kind of mermaidy. So this is another pretty color I can't wait to wear soon. So good for summer. So yay. Yeah, so it's sort of like a sort of bluish greenish, you know, shift, you know, like this iridescent. So very pretty. Again, these were like $18 and they were all marked down to $5.40. Again, these are just the discontinued ones. As Actually, that's what I was told that um, the newer shades obviously are still full price there. So and then I grabbed a couple more things from Marc Jacobs, the pout liner. I think this was regularly $24 and it came out to like $7.20. This is the color I got in Primrose. It's like a sort of dusty rose color and just sort of 
very pretty. Um, I have a lot of lipsticks in this color. I have a lot of Kat Von D actually lipsticks in this color, so hopefully those will go well. Um, and then I got, last thing I got was this concealer in Glow, number four Glow. And I just really, I like the packaging of this too. Look, it's like, it's like the little mini version of like the foundation mousse. Um, and it's like this color. Again, I'm medium toned and this is what I use for concealer. So love that. I love this stuff is all fresh, never been used, you know, very excited. And this came straight from Sephora. I didn't buy this from an off price store. Um, they had other things. I think also the foundations were also 70% off, but I didn't find any in my color. And also, um, the nudist lipsticks, I think were marked down to 15. So the, the lipsticks are like, I think they were really 30 and they were only half off. They weren't an additional 40 off. So you could have gotten some of the nudist lipsticks for 15. So, um, I didn't get any of those just cause I have way too many lipsticks already. And honestly, they were all kind of in colors I already have. So I probably wouldn't wear them that much. So Anyway, that is my quickie Sephora haul. Um, don't expect to see a lot of Sephora hauls or even Ulta hauls from me in the future, just because like I said, um, I buy most of my makeup now like at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, um, just because, you know, who wouldn't? Um, it's pretty much the same thing, um, but for a lot less. So, uh, but it was fun shopping there. I still love going to Sephora and just checking out, like I said, the new stuff. Um, you know, they carry, you know, the... Rihanna Fenty Beauty line and they carry, you know, Pat McGrath and uh, Violet Voss and Natasha Denona, like all these really, really expensive like brands that I can't afford. And maybe hopefully they'll end up at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but we're, we'll see. Um, but like I said, I do like going there and just checking out what's new. And I'm glad I went that one weekend and I got all this stuff for a lot less. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.